let's learn how salinity of sea water is measured the weight of all dissolved salts in the water in ratio of parts per thousand of water is called salinity of sea water for example if the weight of dissolved salts in 1000 g or 1 kg of sea water is 40 g then the salinity is 40% that is 40 per 1000 parts hydrometer refractometer and salinometer are also used to measure salinity you can check out the map below where the salinity of different oceans and seas is given in percentile in percentile form the uneven di- distribution of temperature on earth uneven supply of fresh water etc affects the salinity of sea water in tropical zone temperature is higher and the rate of evaporation is also higher therefore salinity is higher around 5 degree north and south of the equator the equatorial calm belt the sky is cloudy for a long period of time and convectional rainfall occurs every day large rivers like congo and amazon in the equatorial regions meet the sea therefore the supply of fresh water is abundant but because of high temperatures rate of evaporation is more and therefore the sea in these areas are more saline in mid latitudinal zones 25 degrees to 35 degree north and south rainfall is less and the supply of fresh water from river is also low this zone has the hot desert has the hot deserts of the world thus the salinity of the sea is found to be higher here in temperate in temperate regions the sun ray are slanting and therefore the temperatures are lower because of the melting of the snow the supply of water is also more and therefore in this zone salinity decreases with increasing latitudes in polar areas temperature are very low evaporation is also very less in polar areas so salinity is low landlocked seas have higher salinity than open seas as the rate of evaporation is more and there is a lack of supply of fresh water from large rivers thus there is a difference in the salinities of open and enclosed seas for example the average salinity of the mediterranean sea is 39% while the salinity of the most saline ocean the atlantic ocean is 35% if you think about india there is arabian sea to the west and bay of bengal to the east the salinity of eastern coast is 34% while it is 35% in the arabian sea dead sea the name of the sea itself gives an idea of the conditions here the sea lying on the border of israel and jordan has a salinity of 332% the average salinity of ocean is 35% jordan is the only large river meeting this sea low rainfall low supply of fresh water and high evaporation are the reason of high salinity there is no life here except few unicellular organism the fish coming from the river jordan die as soon as they come here because of high salinity saline pillars have developed some of them come out on the surface the density of water is also high because of higher salinity therefore one can never drown in the sea we can easily float when we go in the sea another characteristic of the dead sea is that the land here is below the mean sea level it is one of the places having the lowest elevation on the earth in some areas the altitude is minus 400 meters next is density temperature and salinity are two properties of sea water that control the density of sea water if temperature reduces density of water increases cold water is denser and so is saline water as compared to salinity temperature affects density more hence sometimes more saline water has lower temperature at the surface but still the density of such water is more than the other water on the contrary sea water having high temperature and low salinity can have lower density the depth of the sea water you know that the density of the water is dependent on the temperature and salinity if you see the graph carefully you will realize that after a certain depth there is no change in these factors according to the depth these changes can be seen up to a depth of about 500 meter 
the slopes of the curves of the graph are varying for all the three factors but below the depth of 1000 meter there is no change in all three factors generally we can call the sea water up to depth of 500 meter as sea wa surface water this is this water gets affected by ocean currents and sun rays we can see the movement of these waters in the form of ocean currents. At greater depths, winds, ray, sun rays and currents do not affect these properties. Therefore, after around 1000 meter depth, there is no change in these three factors. The ocean currents are generated because of difference in the property of seawater. They act as temperature controllers at the global level. The distribution of temperatures gets controlled due to the ocean currents. Thus, the climate of the earth gets affected by ocean currents. Cut